I was wrong about many things today. <laughs> We're gonna take a whole turkey, and we're gonna superheat mm -hmm. a bunch of rock salt, and we're gonna bury it. We've never done this. We're gonna figure it out as we go. Oh, dude. I've got like seven little blisters. It sticks. I was like, oh, how hot is that? Like, oh God, and it like stuck, like licking a flagpole. Oh. Here's my prediction. We will end up with cooked turkey, and it will taste pretty darn good. Yes. Um, I don't know how long it'll take. I don't know exactly what's gonna go wrong. Most things will go right. Rock salt and cooking something in salt is kind of like 360 five axis conductive heat. So why salt? Because people don't like eating sand and rocks and pebbles. Um, and that's pretty much why. I'm thinking we just t bury it for 10 minutes, then we take it out and sous vide it to finish it off. <laughs> now we're gonna get some apples off the tree, a bunch of herbs, rosemary, sage, all sorts of goodies. Mm -hmm. What else? Oh, grape leaves. Oh yeah, <laughs> pretty. Doesn't look like that much salt. <laughs> That's crazy, look at that. That's 50 pounds of salt. Okay, watch your fingers, coming. We were first talking like one bag a couple weeks ago, and I was like, nah, 200 pounds, and then now 200 pounds, I'm like, easily could put what were we thinking? 700 pounds of salt in here or more. I think this is actually gonna be a little harder to mix than I thought. <laughs> yeah. It's getting hot on the edges, but yeah, the middle's cold for sure. I think we just need a bigger fire. Dude, isn't it crazy? Like, gardens, if you cook at all, like, gardening pays back dividends. Like, this much rosemary that goes short is $4. Yeah, and it's like garbage and there. It sucks. This one's got flowers, and it's free. One, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> 188 in one part of it. Oh, 200. Oh yeah, I think we're gonna get there. Text me when it's done. <laughs> Things have not been going as planned, people. <laughs> Nick and I thought we'd be about done by now. Sitting pretty, drinking champagne, watching this thing cook. But uh, we've probably burned like four or five of those bundles of wood so far. I was looking for the visual doneness for salt, but I couldn't find it. So this is just a guessing game. But we're making progress, just a little slower than we thought. What are you seeing? 250. We're trying to go for about 600, right? I don't know. <laughs> I'm making that up. We're gonna go booty in first. Should we try the, the probe tip too? I'm just curious. Cause when you touch it, it feels very hot. Oh. Go, 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 go. Then infrared thermometer is correct. <laughs> I think we should all go home. All right, what are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? We're not getting enough heat in the salt. Think, what would a chef do? I uh, I still think we just don't have a big enough fire. That would have fixed all this. Like if we had, a, if we had like all this wood burning right now, this thing would be cruising. I think we got to take the salt out, Nick. Put everything at the bottom. There's no convection. Like we can't stir it enough. So the bottom of the salt's getting like three, four hundred degrees, and it's toasting and charring even. But the top's getting cold. We got wind. We got surface area. So what we're gonna do? We're gonna get a raging fire. And we're gonna take out a bunch of the salt too, and just have a little tiny layer of salt. We'll put the hardiest root veggies in there, the turkey, and then we'll dump the salt back on top. Then we leave it. It's gonna work. Or it won't. I'm gonna leave the spine on, but I'm just gonna go through like one side. That's it. 
turkey spice that the guys have been developing. It's so yummy. It just tastes like Thanksgiving. It's like Stouffer's in a bottle. Because why not? Let's do a big fat circle of this. Anybody who's ever cut chicken wire. This is like more dangerous than the cauldron and the fire. And, and then watch what happens when you do this last one. Whoa! Gets you every time. This is gonna work, this is gonna work, this is gonna work. I don't expect you guys to do this this year, but we're doing it so we can learn something. We'll try to distill that lesson out for you. You don't think we wanna like put chicken wire on top and then wrap it? Oh God. Wrap it? What do you mean wrap it? Or I just mean like crimp it together a little bit. I don't know. And that sounds safer and smarter and more thoughtful. But it sounds like three more minutes of work right now, and it's gonna be less adventure later. So I'm going for maximum adventure. Okay, fine, let's put a little bit of chicken wire on top. Here. No, 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 so, no, let's skip it. No, forget it. No, I want a cowboy. You said. I want a cowboy with you. You said. That's our turkey. Kiddos. Yeah, yep, yep. Kyle's got it. Turkey pancake? Do you have like a real shovel? What do you mean? You don't like this one? Oh, you want a pointy one? Yeah. All right, baby. Yes! Right? Yep. Okay, and then here comes a bunch of more hot yep. salt. Yeah. That's hot. Watch your hands, watch your hands, that's hot. After all this craziness, we're gonna measure something. We will monitor the temperature of the turkey. Well, there you have it. Salt oven. A little bit longer than expected, but I think we're cruising home now. I could see that turkey coming up to temp in like 45 minutes. I'm really curious to see what happens here. Starting to really smell the herbs and the turkey and the grapevine and the spice too come, come out of that steam. We're at uh, 135 degrees. Whoa, that's toasty. Gosh. Whoa, oh, oh, oh. Can you see this close? Look, oh yeah, garlic's getting, it's not done yet, but it's getting soft. So we, we are in a cruise control spot right now. Let's see if I can find something good down there. Oh, look at that. I wouldn't even say this is done. This could cook for a lot longer. It's just steamy. We're gonna have very salty food tonight. <laughs> Man, this really isn't the most convenient way to cook things. been a couple hours, I think. That's uh, 211. Yeah, 90 minutes, two hours. So here's the thing, uh, everything cooked really fast. Okay, so we're gonna get the apples out first. Look at all the steam coming out. This is looking good. Mm. Mm. It's a win. It actually is all perfect. It's actually all perfect. Scratch what I said. Edit that last hour and a half out. It's all perfect. Okay, I'm just gonna like go crazy into this. I'm gonna start like deboning and hashing and dude, this meat is actually like looking good. Mm. This is like the worst butchery and carving I've ever done. It looks like a M80 went off or something. Is what? <laughs> no. No. It's natural champagne, so yeah, it tastes like cider. <laughs> Cheers, buddy. Boom. We sort of did it. So, you know, the more you start to build a team, the more reliant you are on them. 
And so out of all this stuff, let me tell you what I worked on today. Today I worked on trying to pull off this turkey and I barely managed to pull it together. Everything else, Nick made and Kyle helped. So what else did you guys make? You, I don't even know what you did. What's all that? Right. This is kind of my Thanksgiving version of a chimichurri. So oh God. got parsley, I added pomegranates, pumpkin seeds to it. Seasoned it with some sherry and olive oil. And right here, this is kind of a fun riff on an Alabama white sauce. It's more of like an Alley Brown at this point, but there's walnuts in there, Thanksgiving spice. Um, got the gravy, Kyle made that, super awesome. Mm. This is a trad gravy, nothing new here, but it's, if it's not broken, don't fix it. Over here, Kyle made an awesome carnival caramel sauce that's supposed to go with our salt crusted apples and vanilla ice cream. Yep. Mm. So what is this a veggie mix of, Nick? Oh my gosh, what went in there? So we had blue hybrid squash, acorn squash, uh, butternut squash, didn't need salt. Um, over here, this is actually my favorite go-to. I just take raw Brussels sprouts, add whole grain mustard to it, some apple cider vinegar. Happy holiday cooking. See you guys. Thanks for watching. On the site. Cheers, buddy. Boom. Mm.